Hey guys, Matt here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at these black and silver hubcaps. Uh, on the front here, it says it's from Cover Trends, but the box is pretty plain, so we won't worry about that. Let's just get right into it. Oh, these are looking nice. So here we have the first hubcap looking nice. Then we got another hubcap, another one. And then we have the last one. And this last one has all of the rings. So we'll take all of these off. And put this off to the side. Alright, so in the box you get four of these rings. And you also get four of these hubcaps. Before we install this on the car, let's attach the ring and take a closer look at the actual hubcap. To install the spring, you first flip over the hubcap and you look at the ring and you find an indentation. And where the indentation is, is where the valve stem is gonna go. So if you look on the actual hubcap, you can see that the valve stem is here and there's a little indentation or notch. So you wanna line that up. And then you wanna stick the spring in the top bracket or notch right there. And you just wanna go ahead and slide it in. Uh, don't be scared to break it, it won't break as you can tell. And so now it's installed. Now let's take a closer look at the actual hubcap. So on the front you have these five fake uh, nuts and then you have this like black circle and then you have these nice rungs coming out of the center. Then on all the way around you got a nice silver finish as well as spikes. Then on the back as we installed you have the spring and then it's just plastic silver. Now let's go ahead and install this. So let's start off by laying out all the hubcaps in the order that we want to install them on the car. And while we're doing that, let's admire them in the sunlight of how awesome and cool they look. So my car comes stock with these weird looking star shaped hubcaps that look really weird and I, I just don't like them. And I'm glad that I bought these really cool hubcaps. The first step is to remove the old hubcaps. All you do is just take your hand, stick it in there, and just pull it off. It'll come off. Don't worry about breaking. They won't break. They're really durable. So just pull them right off. Next, choose the wheel that you want to first install the hubcap on. And then you want to take the hubcap and align the valve stem with the notch in the hubcap. And then you just want to put one side on and then push it on. Make sure you evenly distribute the pressure on the new hubcap. And then just repeat the process for every single hubcap. Align the valve stem and then push gently on, applying even pressure on each side of the hubcap. And here's a sneak peek of how they look. And so just continue sticking them on, lining the valve stem, and applying pressure evenly. Hubcaps are one of the easiest things you do. All you just have to do is just snap them on there and they're good, but they really change the appearance of the car. And there we go. They are all installed. Now you could go the route of buying brand new rims, but these hubcaps were $10 a piece compared to paying $500 for a new set of rims. And you have to also buy new tires. I would rather just buy hubcaps, which is what I did. They changed the look of the car. The car looks awesome, and that's all that matters. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more of these types of car videos on how to make your car look cool, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and check out my channel for my previous uploads on how to make your car look cool.